Hello there, this is a tutorial for the screws, nuts and bolts generators. So if you open the file, this is what you see. So when we go into one of the screws, we can see that this is what we have. And these are the parameters that we can change. So there are actually two modes. If we look here, we have the fast and the accurate mode. And the accurate mode is a little bit slower and it merges the thread to the screw. So this is a little bit of a heavier process. So if you want to just change the screw type and sizes, it's better to do it in the fast mode. So for example, if we change the depth, we can make the screw longer and shorter, and then it generates more thread. We can set the radius, make a thicker screw or a thinner one. If you need that, we have the screw top index. If we look at the top, we have the uh, Phillips head, we have a flat head, we have the hex or imbus, and we have the torx uh, inset. So we also have the thread size. If we make that bigger, you see that the thread goes a bit wider or like more in. So you also have uh, the ability to change that. And we have the top length, so you can extend the top side of the screw. You can also completely take it away. So these are all the parameters of the screw. Also the material that you can change if you need another material. And we have also the nuts and bolts. So while in the process of making these I noticed that uh, a thing exists called Bolt Factory with which you can make all kinds of bolts. So I kept this uh, simple, which also has a simple and complex mode. It has a radius. Uh, oh, it's, uh, the simple mode doesn't have thread, so it goes a bit faster. So this you can also change it. You can change the depth. And you can also, if we set it to complex, see the thread, you can also make a nut. So we have a nut and bolt. So if I turn on the nut here, you can see that you can make a combination of them. So this is it for the nuts and bolt generator, and I hope uh, it's very useful for you.